In our health alert tonight, a deadly listeria outbreak linked to sliced deli meats and cheese. Tonight, we know people in at least four states, including Michigan, have been hit by the dangerous bacteria. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with the latest on this public health concern. Dr. Nandy. So Heather, the listeria outbreak has infected eight people and one of whom uh, died here in Michigan. The other illnesses were reported in New Jersey, New York and Pennsylvania. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has linked this particular strain of listeria to meats and cheeses sliced at a deli and at deli counters in several stores. They have not been able to identify one common supplier of the deli products. Now the listeria bacteria causes the foodborne illness known as listeriosis. The symptoms include fever, diarrhea, headache, confusion, loss of balance and convulsions or seizures. It's really important to note that these symptoms usually show up anywhere from one to four weeks after eating contaminated food. So Dr. Nandy, are some of us more vulnerable to getting listeria than others? So Glenda, the, the folks at most risk of getting sick are pregnant women and their newborns, seniors age 65 and older, and those with a weakened immune system. Anyone in these groups should, be, should avoid eating deli meats unless they're heated to an internal temperature of 165 degrees or until steaming hot just before serving. That's important. So what else can you do to reduce the likelihood of getting infected? As of now, Heather, the, the CDC is not advising stores to stop selling deli products or consumers to stop eating them, but there are some precautions you can take to reduce your risk of getting sick. First of all, don't let the juice from the lunch meat packages spill onto other foods and surfaces, and please clean up any area that comes into contact with deli sliced products. Secondly, as I always say, please wash your hands after touching lunch meats and hot dogs and only hang on to open packages of deli slice for three to five days. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you. That's great advice. If you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, email him at Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him. And don't forget to tune in this Saturday to an all new Dr. Nandy show. He'll be discussing the effects of Parkinson's on the body, how successful deep brain stimulation is, and if physical fitness and dance therapy can improve symptoms. That's this Saturday at 1 p.m.